Now you know I love coffee. Previously, I've shown you these two portable coffee makers, which I love both of them, so make sure to check out that video. And then today, I have a new one. Now, this one is by Ohuhu. Uh, very questionable on the pronunciation of that brand name. Um, so this is the portable coffee maker we're gonna be trying out. Right off the bat, I'm gonna get my eight ounces of water boiling. Now, this is a pour over coffee brewer. And what's really cool about this one is that it's K-cup compatible. Now, if you use it the way that this brewing system is intended to be, I would actually use this for the boiling water um, to measure it out and then pour in. But to the top thread is only six and a half ounces. And that makes the coffee way too bitter for me, um, too strong. I've used this lots of times, so I just prefer, like today I'm using my little owl cup for this, but if we were camping, I would just use my Pathfinder cup and measure it out that way. So you can use this if you really like strong coffee. I just prefer to have eight ounces of water for brewing. So again, this is a K-cup brewer, so you just pop it open and then put the K-cup in there. But the K-cups are a little large for this and you have to really apply some pressure to get it closed right. And so it crunches the cup, but it doesn't affect anything that way. Another thing, which just a really quick side note, this is my little K-cup case. And if you travel, this is really great because your cups won't get squished or anything. Now, this coffee maker comes with two of these little reusable baskets, which are fantastic because one, they save on waste. You don't have a bunch of little plastic cups that you need to pack out with you and throw away. And two, it saves on money because you can buy your favorite coffee in bulk or beans and then just grind them up or scoop it into here. Plus it comes with two of them. So you can have like two different flavors of coffee. You can leave one at home. You can still use one while you're washing the other one, which is super easy because you just rinse it out after you knock out the grounds. So just a really cool side note there. But today I'm going to be using a K-cup. Now you place the K-cup in this little basket and there's like a hollow needle in the bottom. And then you have a little hollow needle on top. So you just push it into there. Another thing really quick on using the reusable basket, you do have to be precise in how you place it in um, this part because of the little fold it has. Otherwise it won't shut. So you just clip your K-cup into here, set it here. Pour out our boiling water. And then be careful. And just pour it in. And eight ounces pretty much is this little tube's capacity, the brew tube. I don't know the technical term, but we'll call it that. And it starts out streaming really fast. You can hear it. Kind of see that stream and then it just 
takes a little bit. Once the water finally gets going through, then it'll start doing nice little drips. So I am going to time this and I'll check back with you in just a sec. Now I'm back with a freshly brewed cup of coffee. From the time that we poured the last of the boiling water into the brew tube until now has been about four and a half minutes. So that's really not that bad. It takes longer than your single serve coffee maker at home, but four and a half minutes is nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a smell. And it smells really nice and fragrant, um, very deep. It smells just like I would make this at home. And I have had this specific K-cup, so I can tell you the differences. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. So good. The one thing is that even with doing the eight ounces in this Ohuhu uh, versus your single serve coffee at home, is this is stronger. Um, and I think the reason for that is that this is a slower brew. The coffee really takes its time to drip so it gets more saturated with flavor which isn't a bad thing. You can adjust it with creamer or sugar or if you just like really strong coffee, this is gonna be good. It's not overpowering. This is a really nice little coffee maker. Um, I like it a lot. I definitely have used it multiple times and going to continue using it. When I go camping with this, um, if this is the one that I choose to bring, I will be using the reusable cups um, for sure. It's just easier with packing it out um, and I don't like to go through so many K-cups. But if you're getting a bunch of people together for a camping day or just camping in a large group, this would also be really great because you could, I mean, you could put every person's preferred flavor in, brew it, put it in a cup. I mean, that's a lot more time consuming, but that way you can personalize it to everyone. So definitely really like this coffee brewer down in the comment section below. I want to know how you make coffee when you're out camping. So make sure to let me know there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.